and I started working on my wedding dress and it's been <laughs> very frustrating ever since and I wanted to pull all of my hair out. I Hi, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lina and I'm Insta from Norway and welcome to my knitting podcast. Here I talk about all things knitting. I talk about yarn, current projects, finished projects, plans, just everything that comes to mind while I sit here and chat. But before we get into all of that, I thought I'd talk a little bit about what I'm wearing. And today I'm wearing my first ever April cardigan and this was also the first ever adult pattern by Petite Knit I knit. I think I knit this one in April 2021 so it is closing up on three years and I have used this loads even though it's not the most used item I have right now because it has quite a few faults and things I'm not that happy with. This has been a staple in my wardrobe and I've worn it loads and it's still something I wear quite regularly. As you maybe can see if you are familiar with April cardigan, this is not <laughs> um, the way it's supposed to fit. I, I don't have the correct amount of positivities. I do, do not think I hit gauge. I also think I might have chosen the wrong size. There's just a lot of things that are not perfect with this one. Um, I learned a lot of new techniques with this one. So there's a lot of things that are a bit like but I do really love it. I honestly like how it fits. I can't like comfortably comfortably button this but I just don't and then I quite like how it fits because it is so um, small it kind of hugs my waist even when it's not closed and I quite like how that looks. I also like these very next to skin sleeves that I've gotten through not mating gauge so I am very happy with this one even though it's not <laughs> the way it was supposed to be. I think I knit this in Drops Baby Merino and Drops Kid Silk in Light Beige. I think I used Light Beige in both of them. Can't quite remember this being quite a few years ago, but I think that's right. And I also think this was uh, my first time using mohair, I think. Uh, so that was also fun. I might have used it a bit before, but this was like a big encounter at least. Because I remember being so in love with the pattern, I love knitting this up, learning all the new techniques, especially around the shoulder with this saddle shoulder and then the shoulder increases to raglan down here. I just loved learning all of that, so I was so excited to put it on and when I put it on I just remember kind of starting to hate it because it was so itchy it just wasn't comfortable to wear at all so after finishing it I think I like tried to force myself to wear it a couple of times and then I just said nope and put it on a put it in the back of my closet and didn't look at it for a couple of months and then but when I picked this up again, I had knit even more. I had worn <laughs> knits even more, so my skin was a bit more accustomed to the feeling of it. And as time has gone on, as this has been worn more and my skin has gotten more accustomed to more hair and everything, this has gotten more and more comfortable. But I definitely thought, oh my god, I'm never going to knit with more hair again after knitting this for the first time because I just couldn't get myself to wear it. it just itched so bad and just felt uncomfortable. I was also pregnant at the point when I knit this uh, because that was back in April 2021 and I had my son in July so that might have been part of why it was so itchy because I think my skin was a bit more sensitive but I just remember it being absolutely awful and I didn't want to even think about it because I had spent so much time knitting it up being excited and then it was finished and I couldn't even get myself to wear it but after getting past that and learning how to wear um, clothes with mohair and getting my skin more accustomed to it I have used this loads I think um, this is maybe the thing in my wardrobe 
I've used Absolute Mouse because it's been just so simple throwing on a small little cardigan. This is also so tight fitting, it fits under all of my coats. So this has been perfect for me. So I've used it a lot, but now I have another April cardigan that fits a lot better and everything. So this is starting to not get get used quite as much, but it's still just great to have for the memories and I still use it a couple times a month. But all that I all that being said, I think we can move in to what I've been doing this last week and I had pretty big plans for what I wanted to have done this week. I wanted to finish a couple of my whips, I wanted to start others and I just have not accomplished as much as I wanted to. This week has just really been a lot. I feel like life just happened and I just had to go with the flow so I have not been knitting that much as all, that much at all I feel. I have not really gotten that much progress that it's even noticeable to me on a few of these projects but my oldest project that I really wanted to have the body finished on by now the Violetta pullover this is it and this is where we're at and I don't really think you can see a difference maybe I got a couple of centimeters but this is the Violetta so far I am getting close to the ribbing. Um, I just have to do a couple of centimeters more, but this is just taking me so long. And now I've been doing this for so long and doing the structure for so long. And I am finally starting to get a hang of the structure and not having to look at the chart all the time. But my hands are really tired from this. My head's really tired. So even though I am super excited to get this pink sweater in my wardrobe, it's not something I really gravitate towards working on just because I feel I need a break since everything in life has been a bit hectic and then this is not like a very calming knit. I have to be very on and look at it and just keep um, everything in line and make sure I haven't made any mistakes all the time. So. This is not a particularly a relaxing knit, so it's not something I am gravitating towards right now, even though I do really, really, really want to um, finish it. I did knit on it this week because this is the knit I want finished the most, so I tried to knit on it, but um, I had visitors. I had my friend and her two children and they were three children at home, two adults and it was just chaos. Everything was happening all the time. There was no time to sit down and take a breather and knit. Uh, when my son was asleep there were still two other children. We always had like at least one child awake and doing something and they kept each other up so late at night as well so I just didn't get a lot of knitting done and then I got a bit sick and I just it's not been a great week in terms of knitting but I think I got a little bit done and hopefully uh, I'm going to hit the ribbing soon because I do love the structure and everything but I'm very I'm ready to do something else now I want to do ribbing see that grow and finally being able to try this on with the body done. I am so excited for that. And right now as I'm looking at my window, it's snowing, it's raining, it's windy, it's winter. And I just want these spring vibes that this sweater gives me in my life right now. So I, I have a lot of motivation to finish this, but I just don't know if I have... Uh, the correct like knitting time for this because this is a sweater I would like to knit on when I'm alone in peace and can focus and I don't have that much knitting time like that right now but I do really hope I can finish it soon. We are leaving for a trip on 
Monday and we are, I think the drive is 11 hours. Um, and I have to like prioritize what kind of knits I want to bring with me. And I would like to bring with me all of my active whips, but that means I have to finish some or leave them at home unfinished. So I would like, and where we're going, it's kind of spring as well. So my biggest goal would be to have this finished by Monday, but it's Friday today. And I didn't do anything in a week, so I can't really imagine that will happen. But my biggest dream would be for this to be done or very, very, very close to done so I could finish it on the drive. Because that means that I could wear this where we're going, where it's almost spring. And I think that would just be lovely. It will also mean that I could probably bring all of my active projects. So... I don't know, I do kind of want to work a lot on this, but I also want to take a break where I just knit stockinette and don't really think about anything. So I don't know, I think I'll work on this tonight and if I reach the ribbing on this tonight, then I'll try to finish it because with the sleeves, you can see on the body there are loads of structure, there are like maximum six stitches without any structure so there's just something happening all the time but on the sleeves you just have these two cables here and then the rest is stock net so hopefully that means that the sleeves will be way easier because I can knit mostly stock net and just those two cables uh, and of course decreases and everything but decreases I think is really motivating because then you can really see uh, your progress and how fast it uh, progresses so if I reach the ribbing on this tonight I'm going to try to finish it before we leave or at least almost so I can finish it on the car right there I think that would be really nice because I am ready for the next update on this Violetta to be that I've finished it um, I am really excited for that I think I can't remember when I cast this on, but I think it was um, maybe in the middle of June and we are almost at the end of February now. So this has been on my needles for more than a month and I am ready to finish. Um, I'm knitting it in Drops Kid Silk in Pearl Pink and Drops Flora in Pink. And I still absolutely love the color combination this gives and if I have any leftovers I'm excited to knit more with that color but that is the Violetta pullover for now and if I didn't mention it, it's by Eve Knit. And then my other whip that I also had last week, this has kind of... Uh, this isn't that active anymore because I think yesterday I put it on stitch holders because I stole the needle <laughs> to try to do something else. But it didn't work out with this needle so I guess I can put the needle back in because this is a project I am really excited about. This is my Milan sweater that I'm knitting myself in the leftover from my porcelain sweater and I've also made my son the same uh, sweater in the same colors and he's about to grow into his sweater as well so now I'm really excited to finish this one. This one is also giving me a lot of spring vibes. There's something about these colors too. They're just really light and that they are so marled. I think there's something about that that just seems very like lifelike and that reminds me a lot of spring when everything sprouts to life. So this one as well I'm really excited about for spring um, but I have not been able to work on this a lot because this is like my mindless project when I don't really have the time to knit but I want to knit. This is my project but this week when I haven't had the time to knit I've just been so overwhelmed and tired that I've needed all of my time to just take a breather and relax try to just sit 
still and not do anything. But now I am ready to get back into it. This is like the perfect relaxing project for me. Just stuck in it. Nothing to really think about because I'm on the body now. So I'm just going to knit quite a few centimeters on the body uh, before doing anything at all. So now it's back on the needles and ready to go. Um, I don't know if anything has happened at all since last week really. Uh, I did get a few tips to fix this uh, difference here from where the marling is much better when you do um, when you knit back and forth and here when you start knitting in the round you can see quite a change in how the color pools. I did get some tips uh, about that. I haven't gotten to test them out yet but I'm going to. I am really excited to test them out and figure out good ways to fix this issue because I think it is quite obvious. Um, but I'm not going to go back, but since I think when it's done it won't be that noticeable. But I'm really uh, keen on figuring out how to make this not happen again. Uh, if I didn't mention, this is knit in Drops Flora as well. I really love Drops Flora, so I knit a lot in that. This is knit in denim blue and white. These two together. I think denim blue is my absolute favorite color in Drops Flora as well. I've knit a lot in it and I think I'm going to run out after this project but I think I'll almost have to get more because this is lovely and I also want to make my fiance one. I think that would be really nice as well but I have to get through some of my other projects before I plan too far in the pro in the future but this is where I'm at with this one I think I'm like halfway done with the body I am super excited about super, about this super excited about the fit I think this will be lovely like kind of college sweater but knitted I really really want that in my wardrobe I don't think I have something exactly like this this is a bit thinner and a bit different of a fit to everything else I have so I am super excited and now it's also back on the needle so I can knit on this and it's great because all of my other projects are structures structured or I'll have to think a lot and it's just great to have something completely mindless so this is definitely coming with me when I'm leaving for my trip because I can I can imagine that this will be good to have when driving for so many hours and just really mindless if I have to if I have to like try to turn my brain off so excited to work more on this one I have said excited way too many times um but I also this week got some yarn and uh, the yarn I got was too pretty for me to not cast on, so I also cast on another project. But I got yarn, but I think I'm justified, justified in getting this yarn because I didn't go out and just buy yarn, but I had some yarn that I was not going to use and I had the receipt everything and I bought the yarn at my local yarn store, so I went there and was able to trade that yarn for some other yarn. And I have talked a lot about my favorite color and my fiance's favorite color, and that that is the golden brown in from Sanna's Garn, and that that has been discontinued. And then someone let me know, I can't remember who, but someone in the comments let me know that they still had it in Pergint, that it wasn't discontinued in Pergint yet. So, of course, I had to go out and get some Pergint in this lovely golden brown color and I got enough to make my son a Carl's cardigan. I'm going to knit it in the size four to five years because I think Carl's cardigan is the type of jacket you can wear even if it's a bit oversized and the one he has now in two to three years is really small even though it's supposed to fit 
two to three years and he's only two and a half but he's about to grow out of it so if this jacket is just a bit small I would rather just knit it larger instead of knitting the size three to four and it not fitting for that long so I'm doing four to five in this lovely golden brown color. My fiance wasn't home when I got this either, but when he got back home, I showed him this, and usually when I bought yarn, he's not very happy with me. But when I showed him this, he just said, oh, it's my favorite color, so I'm so glad someone told me that they ha still have this color in Pergint, because we both really love this color, so I, think I would want to make my fiancé something in this maybe since he loves the color so much. I don't know if I'm going to make him even another sweater but I think maybe a hat or something in this would be nice. So I'll have to see. I bought the last of the yarn that was left at my local yarn store but they'll probably get more back. Um, but yeah, I started this project and I haven't gotten very far. I've just done the ribbing because after the ribbing on the Carl's cardigan, you have to do some increases and then starts the structure. And I just haven't had time to sit down and look at the pattern and do the right amount of increases and establish the pattern. But I have cast on and done the ribbing. I decided to cast on doing... Um, let's see if it can focus, doing the Italian cast on because I just love that. It was a bit harder to do with Pergint than it usually is. I think Pergint is just really stiff so it was a bit harder because of that but when I had done a couple of rounds of ribbing it looked a lot better so hopefully the last few kinks will even out when I wash it but yeah, this is another project I am really excited about, mostly because of the color, but also because I really love the Carl's cardigan. I think it's such a classic cardigan. I love to use it for my son. He also likes it, so he chooses it quite, quite a bit. So it's going to be great to replace the one he has that is starting to get a bit small with a bigger one in all our favorite color. So this is also a knit I'm definitely bringing with me, also because it is small, because this is a children's garment, so this isn't going to be quite as big as all of my other projects. I'm going to bring a few other projects, just small children's or accessories to have with me when we travel, just to always have something in my bag, but this I am really excited about. I think I got six skeins and so this week I have <laughs> bought more than I've used but I also ex ex exchanged I think four skeins so it's not that bad um, but yeah I am I hopefully I'm going to be able to establish the pattern for this tonight when my son sleeps so that it's established tomorrow and I can work on it even though it even if it's awake um, because I am just super excited to work with this yarn and this color and just looking at me it gives me just a lot of joy I also feel like this color that's kind of a like vibrant brown is great when I look outside and it's just white and dark and gray and then I can look at this inside and it's this rich brown it just brings me so much joy so I feel like a theme with my knitting now is just spring vibes and I'm just trying to like think my way out of winter uh, so I hope that will work soon, but that is my third whip that I haven't done that much on. But then I also have a fourth whip because yesterday was my parents' wedding anniversary. They've been married for 21 years and I have been wondering about when to start my wedding dress and I thought what more fitting day than 
my parents' wedding anniversary. So I, when I we went to their place yesterday, I had some of the yarn for my wedding dress with me, and I started working on my wedding dress. And it's been <laughs> very frustrating ever since. And I wanted to pull all of my hair out. I know that I started knitting my wedding dress at the place where I think I'll have the most issues because I'm starting knitting from the top down and I'm starting in the shoulder area and I always think shoulders are the hardest to get right. Um, especially when I want this to be more tight fitting instead of oversized because oversized is just a bit easier. Um, but I have, I think I've unraveled completely three times. I've unraveled a bit, way more times, but this is my last attempt. I don't know how I feel about this either, but I have started with this um, cable here. This is like the only thing I know <laughs> I am happy with, how the cable looks. And then from that I have picked up stitches and I'm currently knitting this like long <laughs> strip here and my idea is that the cable is going to go on the shoulder and then this white is going to go down here and at some point I'm going to start doing increases for the underarm and then doing increases for um, the front here I want a uh, what's it called, a square neck, so I don't quite know, but it's, I think it's quite hard to measure how long I'm supposed to do everything before starting to do the increases, but I know my mom has something called a uh, sömbiste in Norwegian, I tried to figure out what it was in English, couldn't, but I'll show a picture and if you know what it is, let me know <laughs> so I can get better at English, but I'm going to um, I've asked her to borrow that, so hopefully I'll get to borrow that so I can measure on that to see how much I should knit before doing the different steps. But so far this is the closest I've gotten to being happy with it. Um, and then after doing this side and doing the increases here and the increases some increases here, I'm going to do the other side and then join the front together and then do the back. The back is going to be open because I'm going to have buttons or something, but I'm going to do the back and then join everything together and see where we're at. If this doesn't work out, if I can't get the increases right or something, I think the next thing I'm going to do, because all of the times I've tried now, I've tried top down and worked from the shoulders down. I think if this doesn't work my next plan of attack will be to work bottom up so not bottom like from the bottom of the skirt but uh, from the bottom of what is going to be like the top of the wedding dress so cast on stitches for here and then work uh, bottom up because before when I was a child and did a lot of free knitting and design my own clothing I would knit bottom up so I thought maybe that would be easier for me but also since starting knitting with patterns I have only been knitting top down like exclusively top down so I thought that would be easier but I'll just have to see but I think uh, borrowing my mom's sambuste will be a lot of help anyway just so I can like see it because if I try to measure on myself it's really hard to see because I can't really see <laughs> very well when I try it on myself and my fiance doesn't really understand what I'm talking about at all so so far it's been quite frustrating I'm not used to having to frog so much and I've frogged a lot on all of my knitting hours the last since last the last since last evening have been used on the wedding dress and I have nothing to show because I've just frogged everything and that is a bit frustrating since I don't have that many knitting hours and I have 
a lot I want to accomplish so that's definitely been a bit frustrating but I'm very happy I have started now so I can troubleshoot all these problems because I was pretty sure that I was going to have problems with the shoulders and how to do them but uh, now that I've gotten started I can work through them and I'll have the time to frog all of my mistakes and do it over and over and over again and think about it and hopefully figure it out in the end. I hope I'll figure it out. I think I think I'll figure it out. I just don't know how long it'll take and how and how many times I have to frog before. I asked my fiance, he said he thought I'd have to restart completely at least five times. And I'm at my third, so we'll see. I hope, I really hope that this is the last time I'm going to do the shoulder, but we'll see. But what I am really happy about is this cable. I think it looks really pretty and my idea with that, as you can see, some of the stitches are on the stitch, stitch holder. My idea for that is that when it's like this and then I knit like the body everything and then I pick up stitches for the sleeve and then on the sleeve all the way down the sleeve I'll have this cable running down at the top of the sleeve all the way down and I think that could look really good I've also thought about having the same cable because I am going to have that back with buttons or something but I've thought about having those cables along the side of the back on both of like the um, button bands having those cables on the side of that I thought that could also be nice and then kind of repeating the same cable somewhere else but I have to get to that point first I have to figure out the shoulder before I can start thinking about everything else but Hopefully I'll get there. I am really excited. I do kind of wish now that I I had started with the mohair skirt because I am way more confident in what I'm going to do with the mohair skirt. But that is why I chose to start with this because this is the part I'm really unsure about. Like the top the shoulder and then the bust area of the dress is the uh, part I'm really worried about. I think from here on down the skirt that's going to be okay to knit. It's just going to take time and the same with the mohair skirt. I'm not really worried about the construction. That's more a uh, time management problem but this one is really challenging. Uh, with knitting techniques and everything but I feel like I am learning a lot and if nothing I'm learning patience so I am excited to continue but I am really excited to have that feeling when I finally figure out how to do this and crack that code um, because I don't feel like I'm there yet I'm also really excited to have like this part and this part and the back all together so I can like try it on and just see how everything is because now when I'm just doing one piece here and one piece there and nothing really um, is stuck together it's much harder to try on and like gauge how it fits um, so that's quite hard I hope the sun booster I'm going to borrow from my mom will help with that too, so I can like pin it down on that one and see how it fits but so far this is how the wedding dress is going I don't know if I'm going to bring this with me I'm thinking probably not I'll have a year to work on this wedding dress so it's not uh, I'm not going to treat this like a race towards the finish line but right now with all of these shoulder issues I just really want to feel like I've figured it out before putting it down so I still have like the line of thought fresh so I know what I've been thinking about so I'm just going to problem shoot this, pro this problem and when I've figured out 
how to actually start my wedding dress, then I'm probably going to give it a bit of a break and give myself a bit of a break because I can already feel just from a day of working on this that it's a lot of um, it's a different ball game than knitting a pattern. I have to think a lot more math and all the time is this right is this right how how's this looking mm, can I do it that way instead it's not really <laughs> very meditative and calming but I think it's going to be a really fun experience but right now I'm just a bit frustrated because I can't really figure out how to do it but I think I just have to keep going and then I'll probably figure it out um, but that is all of my whips I went from two whips to four whips instead of um, finishing the two whips I originally wanted to have finished but Hopefully I'll be able to finish at least one of them by next week. But even though I started on these different projects and everything was a bit chaotic, I did actually manage to finish one project and that was the birthday gift from my mom. That was the main priority. When I had knitting time that was the thing I had to prioritize because her birthday was coming up. I did finish it exactly in time. Her birthday was on Sunday and we were visiting her at her cabin so we had to ski there so we had to leave quite early and also packing <laughs> everything you need for three kids and skis and food and everyone in the car and remembering everything is quite a lot so that took all of my time on Sunday but I stayed up a bit late uh, that night just to finish it like uh, Saturday night I stayed up quite late to finish it and be able to throw it in the washing machine and block it because it was a lace scarf would you call it a scarf I think so or shawl it was lace <laughs> a lace shawl and um, so I had to block it before give it, uh, giving it away so I threw it in the wash, got it wet, blocked it and we have heated uh, tiles uh, in the bathroom so I cranked, up, uh, cranked those up so it would dry as fast as possible and it dried just in time of me packing it down and leaving so I got to give it to my mom that day and she was happy with it. I did not weave in the ends so she got it without any ends weaved in, but she was happy and also it only had two ends. It was a great shawl because of that. I ended up only using 50 grams of Drops Alpaca, which was the yarn I knitted in. Uh, and I knit the shawl called Pit i Panna of, uh, by, I can't really remember the name, but I'll write it on screen. But I ended up only using 50 grams of Drops Alpaca and the way the shawl is uh, constructed you only had two ends to weave in so I let her weave those in and she was really happy with it and when I was already going to give my mom a knitted gift I thought that would be a great opportunity to also gift my sister and my brother their Christmas gifts. Finally, I finished my sister's cardigan a while ago and my brother's socks, but I just have not gotten around to weaving in the ends and getting buttons. But when I visited my local yarn store I to get this yarn, I also got buttons. The buttons were the reason why we were there. So I got buttons and my friend helped me sew those in while I weaved in the ends on my brother's sock. I didn't have the time to uh, wash those knits and block the Eva cardigan or wash the Sunday socks. 
and I didn't have the time to weave in the ends on the Eva either so I didn't have the time so I gave it to my brother and sister and I said you have to I said to my sister you have to weave in all the ends or get help weaving all the ends and then wash it and block it before wearing it and I said to my brother you have to wash your socks before wearing them and I don't think my brother has gotten around to washing his socks yet but my sister has gotten some help with both the weaving in ends and the washing and the blocking of it because my sister is not a knitter she's a crocheter and a uh, sewer but my mother is also a knitter so she helped her and yesterday when we visited them for my parents wedding anniversary my sister was wearing her cardigan so immediately after I think it dried yesterday so immediately after it being ready to wear she was wearing it so I always love that when I gift someone knits that they're wearing it immediately and really showing that they actually like what they got and my sister is really good at that she wears her knits the things I've knit her almost every single time I see her so she's a really knit worthy person for me so that's why I knit her a lot but I think after last year I knit her so much last year if you count that Christmas gift so I think I'm going to take a bit of a break knitting for her because she's gotten a lot but that was my mother's shawl was the one thing that I finished this week and when thinking about it I wasn't that impressed because it was just like 50 grams of yarn and knit and that's all I've done all week almost but some weeks my knitting mojo is just not that um, big and I just don't feel the urge to knit all the time and I almost feel the urge to not knit and just relax and take a step back. I do knit a lot and think about knitting a lot and it is a really huge part of my life so I think it is great to sometimes take a step back and relax and allowing myself to relax as well when I don't feel like knitting to just allow myself to not knit then but I am excited to get back to knitting and knitting more because I do really love to knit and I also have to figure out this wedding dress and I also have quite a few things I would like to knit before we're leaving on our trip on Monday so Hopefully my knitting mojo is back or will be back soon. I still don't feel like it's that back but I also have been like trying to kill it, <laughs> trying to figure out this project. I do love working on my wedding dress but having to frog so much and just feeling deep down like you're just not finding. Um, I'm just, I don't know how to like get this right um, and that's been a bit frustrating but I'm going to give it one last try from the top uh, down and then I'm going to switch it to bottom up and I might visit my mom and grandma and ask them for help as well um, but that is uh, everything for this podcast I don't feel like I have knit a lot this week at all I have been a bit disappointed in myself almost for not knitting a lot and felt like I'll have nothing to talk about but I hope that you find it found it interesting even if I haven't knit a lot and if you did if you enjoyed this episode please leave a like in a comment and if you want to follow along and figure out and see if I ever figure out how to make my wedding dress please subscribe bye